this is what I liked about Cascade was our house was like that and the, the lake was about as far away as this so I just ran down the road <laughs> no wonder why, dude. It's almost like we all do that. Go back to spots where we've had big fish before. Yeah, I try not to do that anymore. Before, right? Yeah, we're gonna say just pop a hole next to the sled and I'll drop that in it. Pop it. That's not two feet of ice. Yeah. There's like six of them. Yeah, I, like it's not like it's going to be hard to get on fish. This isn't a giant lake. There's five, six of them. They're all hugging the bottom. Probably a school of smallmouth. Is that a fish? We will find out what this lake has. Basically just looking for anything. There's already something on it. <laughs> so much snow. <laughs> well, the upside is it's packed down from what it probably was. Huh? Yeah, there's fish over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go catch a couple smallmouth before it's too late. <laughs> My brain's like, just go catch a fish. What do you think, slab wrap? I think they'll crush that. Yeah, we'll go with the perch slab wrap. This one. Oh, I'm gonna go see what's uh, sitting on this hunk of wood over here. <laughs> it looks like they're on the other side. Yeah, it looks it? like there's a couple on the other side. There's, do you see the one in the middle of it? Uh, not really. Little flicker. There's one on the left bottom corner. One right there, one right there. <laughs> Get them? It's got to get them to come out. Come on, don't be lazy. Come up four feet. <laughs> They're just going to do the small mouth thing and just be like... <laughs> <laughs> that won't be ready for them. Oh, look. Look at the screen. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, yeah, I screwed it that up. He came in four and a half, five feet down. He had it too. <laughs> oh. It was four feet long. Those look like bluegills in the weeds. Oh, it looks like there are. They do or they don't? It does. And there's something down on the bottom there. I don't know if I can get down there without ripping up weeds. Yep. What is that? A walleye? Say something <laughs> That's a big bluegill. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Not what I was expecting. <laughs> Ten inch bluegill eating slab wraps. I guess 
they're still in here. In the sunlight? Just under. Fair shy of 10. I thought I saw those down there before. That's probably what was messing with my minnow. Yeah. One of these guys. That's cool. I figured if I dropped in the weeds here, something would be sitting in them and actually come out, but that was not the number one thing I was thinking it would be. So we'll see. No bait on my little bow spoon here. Since they're coming up and <laughs> eating a slap wrap. Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> I'm on the pile. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a, <laughs> there's some meat to that thing. <laughs> Holy crap. What do we got? Uh, 10 inches. I can measure them on here. I have... I have a measuring thing. <laughs> well, it's foggy because my camera's all wet, but you know, that's a 10 inch or still. <laughs> okay, so that's two 10 inches. <laughs> uh, we were, we're fishing tip ups for walleye and smallmouth, and uh, yeah. I'm sitting on a weed line right here, as you guys could probably see on the live scope, and I was seeing fish move around, so I figured I'd try and jig up a, I thought they'd be a smallmouth or a uh, walleye with a slab wrap the first time, as you guys seen, and it turned out to be a 10-inch bluegill. So I put my bow spoon, those of you guys have been around forever know I fish those pretty much religiously through the ice through for big bluegills, and uh, no meat, just crushed it. So I'm going to see if I can get a couple more before it's too dark to get them, and then, yeah, Head home. Yeah, if 10 inch bluegills aren't going to get me to pick up a jig pole. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is that the walleye we're talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not bothering my tip up. <laughs> I was like, I, I found him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's too funny. Seven inch walleye. I was not expecting that. He just, that dude shot out of nowhere. He was off on the side screen. He just, whoop. I don't think anybody actually likes missing fish. Well, some of the, people, some, uh, the people we're talking about kind of accept it. Right. Because it's part of the game. But I think there's a school of those down there. I'm shooting for... Nothing else, it's fine. A bigger one. You get about two inches bigger, I'm going to eat them for dinner. I was just going to say we could add them to the fish fry. <laughs> yeah, you go a little bigger, bigger shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, you got to come there down by me. Yeah? Yeah, we could, we could, as many as you want to clean. <laughs> and they're all 9 to 12 inches. Well, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Five of those, not even five of those. Yeah. Okay guys, as you guys can see, I am back in the Bluegill Cave. Not necessarily where I wanted to be right now. Um, so if you guys are watching this whole video and you guys don't skip the ends, um, a big thing most of you guys don't understand is you guys, you guys will basically kill a video if you just stop watching at this point. Those of you guys that do that, just be jerks. You guys suck. Anyways, the reason that I am doing this right now and something you guys never know about and I don't really go into my personal life too much um I mean this is basically my personal life you guys that are watching these videos the biggest thing here I want everybody to understand is I have something that happened to me a long time ago um well it's not super long time ago like six seven years ago now six years ago it was right when I started doing this I was trying to I was trying to film fish every day like seven days a week uh, I had just quit my job 
uh, because I wanted to really do this and like do this full time. And I don't do things halfway. Uh, those of you guys actually have been following me. I don't ever do anything halfway. I don't ever sleep. I edit as much as I can. I fish and film seven days a week if I can pull it off without getting sick or whatever. But I did something to myself um, and somebody else. I'm not going to name names, but basically I should have went to the hospital from heat stroke and all that stuff. You guys can watch that video. That's like from 2015. Um, I talked about it a little bit in there. I'm not going detail right now, but um, I believe that's something that happened a long time ago. Um, it messes with my head. I end up getting really sick sometimes if I get dehydrated uh, and I'm working really hard and like not enough sleep, uh, not enough food and not enough uh, water and stay hydrated. I end up going down pretty bad and it. I still don't know what's wrong. I don't have enough money to uh, pay for the the testing and stuff like that to figure it out. So... I get these massive headaches, they shut me down, and they put me out of commission. Well, this trip was, the what you guys saw was literally the first day I got up north by my cousin. Um, I'm nice, I'm lucky enough that I have a place that he'll let me stay with him, and he said I could fish for the whole week. So I was going to try and get a bunch of late ice videos for you guys, because there was still good ice up in northern Wisconsin, and, uh, and I got my snowmobile this year, uh, and I wanted to use it, so there was a bunch of snow up there. And the biggest problem uh, that I have to convey to you guys here is that's not cheap. And I, I, I'm not going to lie. I spent like $300 in just gas uh, just to get up there. And then obviously supplies and all the other stuff. And not to mention all the other things that cost money. And the next morning when I woke up from the, filming this video, I was out of commission. I woke up with a headache. Uh, I didn't feel too bad. I was going to try and go out. Um, but I drove halfway to the lake that day with my cousin and I was ready to pass out from the pain and I got sick. Uh, basically what happens is I black out and I just hope I wake up again type thing. And, uh, those of you guys that are sticking around to this point, I appreciate all you guys' support. Every time you like a video, every time you comment below, it helps, helps keep these videos going. But the biggest thing is, is I need everybody to understand I, I try to push it all the way to that every time, and I know it's stupid, and I know I shouldn't be doing it. Um, it's YouTube. It shouldn't be that thing. But I, I basically have made this my life. So in order to, to feel successful or feel like I'm making any kind of progress, I'm always pushing it at 110. Um, I don't know how to do things halfway, like I said before. And the biggest thing that happened is I slept that entire day. Um, it knocked me out. I kept... Uh, waking up passing out waking up passing out and it was finally later in the day and my cousin asked me if I wanted to go to the hospital and I was just like I don't I don't think they're going to do anything different um I've been to the hospital before for this and it's just something that I'm kind of dealing with right now until I make enough money that I can get CAT scans and MRIs and all the things that I need uh to be able to request and stuff like that but until that point I have to just work and deal with it and uh yeah so I drove home that night and I was supposed to be up there for four or five days. I don't know what day this I'm editing this in comparison to that. But I'm going to have to be switching over to probably open water by the time you guys are seeing this. And it sucks because I, I just don't have the money to go back out. And I could have probably went back up for some more late ice action and had a, you know had some good late ice action as far as like ice fishing is concerned because he's going to still have ice probably through the end of March here. And I just can't afford to drive that far to and from uh, multiple times. It's just not possible. Um, if you guys want to help the channel out, there's merch. 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 <laughs> you guys, there's a lot of stuff you guys can pick up. There's a bunch of new stuff for this year that I left up. Uh, it's all my. It's actually all my hydration stuff. I encourage everybody to drink lots of fluids. Um so you don't end up in a position in life like I am where the rest of my life I have to worry about if I get too dehydrated, uh, if something might bad or something bad might happen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the short little one. It was really cool. Those of you guys that know, I love giant bluegills and I love finding them on an accident. We were just kind of screwing around with some tip-ups on that first day because we really didn't plan on fishing that day. It's just I got up there early and I wanted to get out and apparently I pushed myself too hard or something. I still don't know why it happens, but... The next day I was out of commission and I drove home because I didn't want to stay up there and be all messed up. So 
Hopefully you guys, like I said, enjoyed this short little one. Those of you guys that stay this long, comment below, hit that like button every time you see it. And if you can, get somebody that you know that likes ice fishing or likes fishing in general to subscribe to this channel to keep it growing. Uh, like I said, I can't do anything about this problem until I make enough money to do something about this problem. And it's going to be a lot. Those of you guys that have any kind of medical problems, you understand. So I'll see you guys next time.